Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and last week I asked you lovely lot what retro tracks you thought we were going to see in Mario Kart 8's second DLC pack. Now, as it happens, a full track list for the DLC pack was released less than 24 hours after the video was uploaded. However, lots of you still commented before that time, so I'm going to read out your responses anyway. Oshi Evans says that very, 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 very long shot, but on it from Earthbound. Now, the idea of doing a crossover with Earthbound is an absolutely fantastic idea, and I think it would fit the Mario Kart 8 theme aesthetic very well indeed. However, it wasn't to be. Nintendo really threw us off by releasing another F-Zero track, which none of us really expected. Well, maybe a few of you did, but I certainly didn't. And as such, we only got one crossover, one new crossover at least, in the form of Animal Crossing. Pixel Power says that it would be a crying shame if Delfino Square was not introduced in the second map pack. Well, unfortunately, from your perspective, it currently is a crying shame. Hero of Wind Link, brackets, Toon Link, end brackets, some GBA track like Cheeseland, Ribbon Road, Cheap Cheap Island, Broken Pier, Sky Gardens or Lakeside Park. No punctuation in there, but apart from that, you are actually really bang on the money. In part at least, because we will be getting Cheeseland and indeed Ribbon Road. And they are fantastic little levels. If you want to see a preview where I talk about it a bit more, there'll be a link in the description. And even if you click my face right now, I'll wait for a moment. That moment has passed. Torian Tourist says that the leak about Baby Park and Neo Bazza City still stands, despite it being falsely debunked as a fake. Now, whether or not that leak was actually real, we did end up getting both Baby Park and Neo Bowser City, so nicely pointed out. Ryan Nair says, Banjo-Kazooie. I believe that's in reference to last week's question. Disturbing Peanut seems to think that 3DS Rainbow Road needs to return, because it was the best Rainbow Road in their opinion. Well, that's a nice sentiment, but unfortunately, you're wrong. The best Rainbow Road is the N64 version. Jamie Lee says, I hope Coconut Mall is for DLC, or Coconut Mall, if you're not from the UK. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. However, if there are future DLC packs, it's one that I really would also like to see, because I don't know what it is, there's just something very satisfying about it. It feels very sort of real and raw, unlike many other tracks where you feel like you're actually driving through a shopping centre or mall or mall, which is brilliant. The Muddy Slime, it or look, I'm not sure, says I really, really, really want to see Waluigi Pinball, because who doesn't like Waluigi? Well, who indeed? Eric Harvesty was also very astute in his predictions and says Cheeseland because it'll look awesome in HD. And he's right, it does. It looks fantastic. Sam Quirty says Choco Mountain from the N64 because chocolate. That's as good a reason as any. Choco Mountain is a favourite of mine, but it was certainly not when I was younger. I couldn't get my head around the sides where you'd accidentally bump into them and suddenly you'd just sort of tumble and come to a complete stop. That was really irritating. Also, those boulders and that gap at the end where you could gap, I mean drop at the end where you could drop off and you had to do half the lap again. That was really irritating. However, I'm better at Mario Kart now, and now I love it. And finally, James McKenzie gave me a top 10 list of the tracks he'd like to see in this second pack, so let's see how right he was. Maple Treeway, sorry, no. Delfino Square, no. Frappy Snowland, no again. Rock Rock Mountain, I don't know what that is, no. Daisy Hill, no. Woohoo Loop, no. Coconut Mal, no. Baby Park, yes, you got one. Waluigi Pinball, no, although I'd love to see that. And GameCube Rainbow Road. Unfortunately, no. He does add a few more at the end, but unfortunately, none of them got in either. Thank you so much for everyone who got in touch. Unfortunately, I can't read all of your comments out, otherwise it would be a very long and boring video. However, you do have a chance to have one of your comments read out in the next video. And so, my question for you this week is, what remakes would you like to see of old games on Nintendo's new systems, the Wii U and the 3DS, or the new 3DS exclusively? Actually, you know what? I'm going to open up the question even further, so it can be a remake for the Wii U, 3DS, new 3DS, Nintendo NX, or mobile platforms. Obviously we don't know what form the NX is going to take, so use your imagination and just make it as interesting and as dynamic, but realistic, as possible. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, why don't you remake that subscribe button which is actually down there, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.